Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dulakia and you are watching its tomorrow news. Typhoon Hegebis, at least 25 dead at thousands joined rescue effort. Hegebis made landfall on the main Japanese island of Honshu around 7 pm on Saturday with wind gusts of up to 216 km per hour. A magnitude 5.7 earthquake shook Tokyo shortly after. Typhoon Hegebis weakened to a tropical depression as it continued to move across central Japan on Sunday, leaving at least 31 people dead and 186 others injured. Around 92,000 households remain without power down from 2,62,000 households on Sunday, with 1,20,000 experiencing water outages. More than one meter of rainfall in the town of Hakon, the highest total ever recorded in Japan over 48 hours. Tens of thousands of troops and rescue workers worked in Japan on Monday to fight floods and help stranded residents after one of the most powerful typhoons to hit the country in six decades left as many as 36 people dead. Typhoon Hegebis Tokyo relatively unscattered but caused serious damage to surrounding regions as rivers burst their banks and the torrential rain triggered landslides. More than 1 lakh rescuers, including 31,000 troops, ploughed their way through debris from the Sunday night into Monday morning to reach people trapped by the floods or worse homes had been buried. About 800 flights were cancelled on Sunday following the cancellation of more than 1,600 flights on the previous day, while many train services in Tokyo region remained suspended. Rugby World Cup matches and Formula 1 practice and qualifying also had to be postponed or cancelled. Rivers overflowed their banks at close to a dozen locations including in Nagano in central Japan where the Chikuma River breached an embankment and water gushed into residential neighborhoods flooding homes up to the second floor. Media reports said thousands of troops, firefighters and other emergency workers had been dispatched to rescue people trapped by flood water in the worst hit area as utilities reset thus restore power to hundreds of thousands of homes. Military and fire department helicopters winch survivors from roofs and balconies in several locations. But in Fukushima, one rescue went tragically awry when a woman died after falling from a cradle. Tokyo Electric Power Company said 56,800 homes were still without electricity Monday in Tokyo and nearby prefectures that are utility serves. The major typhoon has caused immense damage far and wide in eastern Japan, the government's top spokesperson told reporters. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more videos updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.